there's a man coming in later on to see me. He wants to talk with me. Might be a bit of trouble with him, but it's nothing for you to worry about. No trouble, can't afford for trouble. I get the blame. All I meant was, just in case there's a bit of shouting, don't panic. A bit of shout. Yes, a bit of shouting. Nothing for you to get involved in, you understand? Stay out of it. Nothing to do with you. A bit of shouting. Everyone shouts here. It's the national sport. Yeah. We all need to be heard at the same time. I'm Patrick O'Kane, and I am playing the role of Jimmy Loughran. Uh, in Owen McCaffrey's Quietly. Jimmy is uh, one of three characters, and uh, two of the characters are 52, and Jimmy is one of those. And uh, he drinks, he's a local man, and he drinks in his local bar. And so far, everything is so good. And then we learn that the other man who comes into the bar, uh, although they've never met before, they are inextricably linked by an event that happened when they were both 16. We're the same age. You and God? Fuck me. Me and you. Fuck God. what age we are. I'm here because we're the same age. You're not my fucking age. My age is to do with a life I've led. You haven't led my life. I led a life. My life. I don't fucking care. Pet a dog piss, please. So Ian is a member of the UVF, which is the Ulster Volunteer Force, uh, Northern Irish par par Protestant paramilitary organisation. Um, the character Jimmy, who he comes in to meet, uh, wasn't a member of a nationalist equivalent, but he is a Catholic. Uh, and the, the event that happened in 1974 <clears throat> was, I suppose, an atrocity committed by this young 16-year-old boy that he is now at 52 trying in some way to atone for. We were both 16 and now we're both 52. We're predicting scores at the moment. As far as I know, age is a fuck all to do that. It means something. Three to the Northern Ireland. Or free to Poland. That's not predicting a score. I was just hoping for a result. Okay, I'll think harder about it. Uh, for free to Poland. Robert is a Polish immigrant living in Belfast. As a Polish barman and Polish immigrant, I'm not involved in this problem. Uh, I mean, one to one, like uh, you know, I'm just outsider. But uh, uh, well, it is important to know uh, where do you live, what country do you live, and what is. Uh, the story of people around you. Poland is 99% Catholic. That's a lot of Catholics, isn't it? Do some damage there, man. Every time you shake a stick, you hit one. Anyone ever hit you with a stick, Robert? My father, many times. Did he? Yes. So when I read the play, you know, Owen is a fantastic writer, and he's a superb, he's got an amazing gift of narrative. And so when I read it, it kind of leapt off the page. And I think, you know, even though it's an intense play, it's a brilliantly told story. So the design is based around a pub that Owen brought us to, uh, brought Jimmy and me to. Um, and this is a pub that um, he used to live near in the 70s, um, which was actually blown up by the UVF in 1972. So it's very similar to the pub that we have in our story. How long did you look for? Two hours. Still across the road. Oh, what time of day was it? About tea time. Right on, you should have called in and said hello. I stood there for two hours. Flesh stuck to the wall across the road where you were standing. Difficult to scrape off. Difficult as it's flesh. Although the play is quite specific to, um, not just to Northern Ireland, but to Belfast at a particular time, strangely, through its specificity, it achieves a kind of um, universal, universality. Even though it's set in Belfast, I think it's about the world we live in today. It's about how we resolve conflict, how we resolve disagreement, how we try and live together, how humanity tries to recalibrate itself. It's not kidding or something, I have to sort things out. You're not been able to look myself in the eye when I'm having a shame, maybe that's why I'm here. You're here because I allowed you to be here. And what we do then is up to you. Is it? Yes. It's a great thrill and a great honour to have the Abbey Theatre over from Dublin. I mean, come on. And the Irish have a tradition of telling great stories by great actors and great companies. And our dream of doing that has come true. The original cast 
that started in, uh, in the Abbey in November 2012 is going to be here in New York at the Irish Rep. Uh, and that means a lot to us because in a way what, what audiences in New York will see is a sense of the original production, the energy of the original production with the original cast and uh, it should be a huge success here.